when we have a loved one die, will we ever see them alive again? I've just got to tell you about my friend Jesus, my best friend. He's coming again. He is not leaving us stranded here on an earth where there's more and more wars and famines and pandemics and, and more and more things coming apart and the environment being polluted. He's not going to leave us stranded here. He said before he left in John 14, 1 to 3, he looked at his disciples there in the upper room and he said, let not your heart be troubled. Now he was going to die the next day, but he's trying to bring peace to them just as he brings peace to us. He says, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. And I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you will be also. He's not leaving us stranded here. He told us um, in Acts chapter 1, actually when he was going back to heaven, he sent two angel messengers there in Acts 1 to tell his followers, this same Jesus is going to come in the same way you saw him go. You saw him visibly. He was taken up into the clouds. You're going to see him visibly when he comes again in the clouds. In Revelation 1 verse 7, it tells us that when Jesus comes, every eye will see him come. We will all see Jesus come. We learn too that we will all hear Jesus come because it says there in 1 Thessalonians 4 and 1 Corinthians 15 that at the last trump, at the shout, a voice of the archangel, the trumpet of God, that he'll come. So everyone will hear him come and everyone will feel him come. It says in Revelation 6 and also in Revelation 16, there'll be this massive earthquake like there's never been before. And all the islands of the sea will flee and go under the water and it'll rip apart the continents. Everyone will feel him come. But it says that those who follow him, who he's come for, will fly to meet him in the air. This earth is no place to be. When everybody sees him come, when everybody hears him come, when everybody feels him come, not everybody's happy that he's coming. Those of us who have learned to live for Jesus and trust him will say, Lo, this is our God. We've waited for him and he will save us, as recorded in Isaiah 25. But the wicked, those who become more and more and more hardened against the things of God just before the end, will say to the rocks and mountains, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him from the Lamb and the one who sits on the throne. We, re we read that in Revelation 6. Not everybody will be happy, but God will have his people fly to meet him in the air. And what about those who have died in Christ? There will be this massive resurrection of all God's people, and he will bring them out of the grave. Whether they are dust or whether they've been cremated with ashes doesn't really matter. God knows where his people are, and he will raise them to life. Here's how it's described in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and onward. The Lord himself will descend from heaven. He doesn't say, Gabriel, go on down and bring my people home. He says, I'm going to go. Matthew 25 says he'll bring all the angels with him. That the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we always be together. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. That's why when a person dies trusting Jesus, their funeral is different. We cry, but we know we're going to see him again when Jesus comes. We look forward to that second coming of Jesus. As the world is coming apart, the best thing we can do 
is to let people know there's a better tomorrow when Jesus comes and to help as many as we can during this interim because when he comes, it's going to be a beautiful time for those who love him. Aren't you glad that Jesus won't leave us stranded here on this imploding earth, but he's promised to come again? Tell somebody today, Jesus is coming again. He's coming soon. He wants you to be ready and he's made every provision for that to happen. And I'll help you prepare if you don't know how to be prepare. Do that today. Thank you.